You can now get a 30-day trial to experience The Athletic for free. Visit the link in the description below to try it now. The act of cautioning a player can be charted back well into the 19th century. In the 20th century, there was actually a sending off on the second day of the first ever World Cup in 1930, with Peruvian Placido Galindo given his marching orders against Romania. But the physical yellow and red cards weren't introduced into the game until 1970 as an experiment. So why and who were the first players to receive them? Well, in international games, communication between a referee and a player could often be difficult. Witness the confused scenes at Wembley in 1966 when Argentinian Antonio Ratin was sent off in the World Cup quarter-final against England. The referee was German, he spoke no Spanish, and Ratin eventually had to be escorted from the pitch by two police officers. It was an ugly blotch on the tournament. This communication issue had been troubling former referee Ken Aston for some time. Aston was a British schoolteacher by trade and had officiated the notoriously ill-tempered game between Italy and Chile at the 1962 World Cup, the Battle of Santiago as it came to be known. Aston sent off two players in that game. One of them, Giorgio Ferrini, didn't speak English and so didn't understand that he was being dismissed, initially refusing to leave the pitch. Again, it had made a fractious situation worse. Following the Ratin incident in 1966, Aston, who had by then been appointed to FIFA's Referees Committee, was driving in London, mulling a further confusion from the day. Jack Charlton had been cautioned during the game, but without Charlton being made aware of it, and he would only find out by reading the following day's paper. So without a reliable common language, clearly there was a need for clarity, and according to Aston's account, inspiration struck when he stopped at traffic lights in High Street Kensington. And credit for the design actually belongs to Aston's wife, who improvised a pair of pocket-sized cards made of red and yellow paper, forming the basis for the idea that would be presented to FIFA. So, cards were born, and after a successful trial at the 1970 World Cup, they were gradually adopted by global federations in the years after. That World Cup would, however, pass without a dismissal, as would the 1972 European Championship. But in 1974, at the World Cup in West Germany, there was a rush of red cards. Five would be shown in total. The first to Chile's Carlos Caesarli, who picked up a second yellow for a foul on Bertie Fortz. Caesarli became the 24th player to be sent off in World Cup history, but the first to be shown a red in the process. Aston's own country, England, were the late converts. The card system wasn't introduced until six years later, but two were issued on their first day of use, on the 2nd of October 1976, to Blackburn's David Wagstaff for arguing with a first-half decision, and more famously, the great George Best, then playing for Fulham against Southampton, who was also sent for an early bath for swearing. The card system would actually go on hiatus in British football in 1981, with hooliganism on the rise and demonstrative referees an obvious target, they were abolished as a peacekeeping measure. Whatever effect that had was minimal though, and in any case, IFAB's 1987 edict returned them for good. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic brings you the best sports journalism in the world in a personalised experience, connecting you with the stories and teams that you care about the most. There's coverage of 13 sports, plus direct access to world-class journalists through live Q&As, discussions and podcasts. Not to mention, it's all ad-free. And you can try it now for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description.